Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. My name is Shark Fail, I'm a freelance videographer, photographer and video editor, producing weekly content helping you take your video editing and videography to that next level. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you can see by the thumbnail and the title, top five best free video editing softwares that do not leave a watermark. I know we've all, we've all been there, especially when I was starting out five years ago, I used to look for a cracked version of Adobe Premiere Pro or anything, any software that would not leave a watermark because I used to do this professionally five years ago but I didn't have enough money to afford a, um, an Adobe Premiere Pro software subscription but um, I'll compile the list of the top five best free video editing softwares that do not leave a watermark. So you can jump straight into it and start video editing for clients or if it's for passion projects or whatever, you can jump straight into this and don't have to worry about a watermark. So number one is CapCut. Now CapCut, if you don't know what CapCut is, you genuinely have been living under a rock. CapCut is one of the best new video editing softwares out there at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's owned by TikTok and if it isn't owned by TikTok they're in partnership with TikTok um, but CapCut is honestly one of the best free video editing softwares out there at the moment and the good thing is it doesn't leave a watermark. Um, honestly it's one of the best free video, video editing softwares out there right now. Um, it's got everything, it's got motion tracking, it's got effects where you can add like a bunch of cool slow motion, like velocity speed I think it's called. It's got a lot of the cool effects and you can color grade on it to a certain extent and you can do, you can remove the audio, you can do a lot of really good edits. I go on TikTok and I see a lot of really good professional edits that teenagers are doing. You know, teenagers are using this and getting paid a lot of money by using CapCut and they have no overheads because Cap, well, CapCut's free. It's honestly, it's a really good video editing software. If you're not using CapCut, get on it straight away. And the good thing is you can export it straight to TikTok or straight to Instagram or straight to YouTube or whatever. And uh, you don't have to download it and then re-upload it. You can export it straight to the platform. So that's one thing that CapCut has over the others. Now number two, DaVinci Resolve, the big daddy of the video editing software. It's up there with um, Adobe Premiere Pro. But the thing is, it's free. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is on, obviously one of the best video editing software so that's been around for a while now. Uh, it's really good for color grading. Um, but if you're a brand new beginner, I wouldn't recommend DaVinci Resolve. But if you're more advanced, or if you're a complete beginner, but you want to straight, jump straight to DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve is honestly where it's at. Like I said, it's one of the best uh, video editing softwares for color grading. It's honestly, the, the color grading mechanics on a DaVinci Resolve is just unrivaled and it's completely free. And you can do all of the basics, you can cut, trim, you can replace the audio, you can do music. And the layout is very, very simple. It's not, it's not hard to get around once you learn the basics of a da, of DaVinci Resolve. You can jump straight into it. I'm actually coming out with a tutorial about DaVinci Resolve in the coming weeks. So if you want to learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve, keep an eye out for that video. It will be out in the next couple of weeks. So DaVinci Resolve is honestly probably the most professional one on this list. It's just really good for, well, it's free. You can't argue with the price tag of free. And for what you get for that free price tag, it, it's, it's a no brainer. So if you wanna learn DaVinci Resolve, keep an eye out for that video. And um, yeah, it's one of the most professional free video editing softwares you can get. Number three is Filmora. Filmora has kind of taken a back seat um, over the past couple of years, but it's still very relevant in the video editing software um, industry. Filmora, I mean, there's not really much to say about Filmora. Um, the layout is very, very simple. It's very easy for someone to jump straight into it. I haven't really edited on Filmora that much. I've played around with it here and there, but like I said, it's, it's a very basic um, video editing software. You won't get a watermark, like with any of these, you won't get a watermark with it. But there are some paid versions, there's a couple of things that's locked behind the, for the paid paid version. Um, but Filmora is honestly really good as well, completely basic, you know, people can get into it really easily. Um, you can colour grade on it, good colour grading, you can do with the basic like cut, trim and export. Another thing Filmora has is you can export straight to a... Um, a platform whether it be YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. So that's a good thing. You don't have to export it, download it, re-upload it. Uh, so if you have bad Wi-Fi, 
Filmora is another good one to go with. And now number four is Capwing. Capwing is another one that I haven't really messed around with too much, but Capwing is honestly probably one of the best uh, free beginner friendly, uh, not tutorials, beginner friendly um, softwares that you can get. Well, like I said, it doesn't need a watermark, but it also is very, very simple. The layout is nice and simple. On the left hand side, you've got all of the, um, the, the tabs, if you want to call them, you've got layers, text, video, images. Now it's all nicely structured, so you can jump straight in and you don't have to faff around, you have to learn it too much. You have to do learn the basics a little bit, but if you want to go in and do a basic edit, if you're a complete beginner, it won't be too much of a hassle for you, because it's very, very simple. And the added benefit is you don't have a watermark, like with any of these. Cap wing is a good, but um, I do believe it's got a cap on the amount of um, on how long you can have. For the, I think it's like a 15 minute cap on it. So if you're doing a video that's longer than 15 minutes, cap wing might not be for you. But um, apart from that, it's a completely free video editing software. It's really, really good. And if you're a beginner, I would highly suggest learning on cap wing because um, it's such a very beginner friendly software. And now the last one is something that I personally used when I was learning video editing. Um, like I said, when I was looking for a cracked version of Adobe Premiere Pro, and that is iMovie. Now iMovie isn't available on Windows. You can download like a bit of a cracked version for Windows, but it's gonna be really, really buggy and I wouldn't recommend it. So if you have an iPhone, if you have a, a Mac, uh, iMovie is probably you know one of the best free ones that comes with the products. Uh, like I said, I learned on iMovie. I haven't edited on iMovie for about two, three years now. Um, I was learning on iMovie before I transitioned to Adobe Premiere Pro for the past three, four years. Uh, but iMovie is very, very simple like the rest of them. Um, and obviously because you don't, it's completely free. You don't have to pay for anything because it comes with the Mac and the iPhone. Um, it has no paywall. Um, so everything you get, you get for completely for free. Um, and I know a lot of video editors that do edit uh, on iMovie if say they don't have access to Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or whatever um, iMovie is there to cover their back and like I said it's got no watermark everything is completely free because um, it comes with the product it's like, Win like Windows um, video editor but Windows video editor is 2012 it's very dated whereas iMovie is very up to date and it's just honestly it's just one of the best um, beginner friendly beginner friendly editing softwares but the unfortunate thing is it's for Mac users and iPhone users only so if you're on Windows you're out of luck I'm sorry but I couldn't um, not include iMovie because it's such a good software but that's been my list for the top five best free edit video editing softwares without watermark again these are completely for free. Some of them do have um, locked features behind the paywall, but they're not features that you have to get. Um, it's only for, you know, if you're getting more advanced, if you're getting more and more higher paid work, um, I would suggest unlocking those features, or if you have the budget for it, do. But there is, you don't have to pay um, to unlock for the basics, um, or even for some advanced features. But um, CapCut is probably one of the best, because it's completely free and you get a lot for free um, and like I said you can export straight to um, the platforms but with that out of the way that's been my top five best free video editing softwares without a watermark if you want the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro you're completely new to it you've transitioned from these beginner friendly uh, video editing softwares and now you're getting in the big boy league I've got a whole playlist up here where I go over the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro so if you're learning the Premiere Pro check out that playlist up there but if you do want to learn DaVinci Resolve, I have a video coming out in the next couple of weeks teaching DaVinci Resolve. So if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.